Hi guys, day two of the Christmas special and today we're going to make the first course and it's going to be a vegan leek dish. We're going to make your braised leek mosaic with a cashew nut cream, sweet and sour onions and an onion and coffee broth. So, let's begin. All the recipes in this video are for around 12 persons. First, take four thin leeks and trim the top and the bottom. Wash the green tops well on the cold water to remove any dirt or bugs. Then pull all the layers apart from each other and spread them on an oven rack. Once that's done, dry them at 50 degrees Celsius to completely dry and crispy. This can easily take a couple of hours. Meanwhile take your leeks and cut them exactly in half. Then use a thin knife or a meat fork to make around 8 thin incisions in the leek. This will ensure a more even cooking process. Now transfer the leeks onto a metal container or a metal tray and peel the peel from one lemon on top. Then season with some salt and drizzle some sunflower oil or olive oil on top. Finally, also add six to eight branches of thyme and then cover the container tightly with aluminium foil. Really make sure it's sealed properly. Otherwise a lot of moisture will vaporize and the leeks will dry out and burn. Then bake them in an oven at 160 degrees Celsius for around 60 to 70 minutes till cooked. Once they're cooked, remove the foil and let them cool down for a minute or five. Then also remove the thyme and the lemon peels. Once that's done, remove the first layer of the leeks. This layer will be a bit dry and it will not be so tender as the other layers. Now place the leek on a piece of nori and roll it all around. Cut the remaining nori sheet off and repeat this with all the other leeks. Then lay half of the covered leeks on a piece of plastic wrap and zest some lemon zest on top. Lay the remaining leeks on there and season those as well with some lemon zest. Now cover it completely with the plastic wrap and then roll it up nice and tight. Then make a knot on both sides and roll each side a couple of times to make the roll even tighter. After that make an ice bath and place the roll in there. Let it set overnight in your fridge. Then for the onion and coffee broth. First cut three big onions in half and clean them. Now chop two from the three onions. Then add a drizzle of oil to a hot pan and caramelize the chopped onions on the medium heat. Already add some salt as well. Now cut the remaining onions in six pieces and use a blowtorch to toast it on the flat sides. You can also do this on a barbecue or a gas stove. Once the chopped onions are caramelized, deglaze the pan with 200 grams of Madeira. Then add the toasted onions together with 1 liter of water, 3 bay leaves and 20 grams of coffee beans. Let this simmer for at least 3 hours. After that pass the liquid through a fine sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper to clarify it. Let it drip for at least 30 minutes so you don't waste a single drop. Then transfer it back into the pan and reduce it till it has reached the desired flavor. If necessary also season with salt. Now for the sweet and sour onions. First mix 100 grams of water with 150 grams of white wine vinegar, 100 grams of sugar, 3 grams of salt and the zest or peel from half a lemon. Now bring this to a boil. Meanwhile take 20 to 30 pearl onions and remove the root. Then cut them in half. Now clean them. Once the liquid is boiled add the cleaned onions and boil them for one more minute. Then transfer them into a preserving jar. Close the lid and let it cool down out of the fridge. Then keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the cashew nut cream. Mix 70 grams of cashew nuts with 80 grams of vegetable broth, 30 grams of canned chickpeas and 3 grams of salt. Then cut the peeled lemon in half and juice one half for 15 grams of juice. Add it to the blender and then blend it into a smooth cream. It might seem a bit thin but it will set in your fridge. Once the green leeks are dry, transfer them into a blender and blend it into a fine powder. Keep it dry and covered. This powder is also great for seasoning or coloring creams in a natural way. Now take the pearl onions and remove them from the sweet and sour. Then separate the onion layers from each other. Now we can start to finish the dish. Spread a thin layer of the leek powder on a tray and place the onion layers with the flat side down on the powder. Now take a long and sharp knife and use it to portion the leek roll. I cut this roll in 12 pieces. 
but be gentle, otherwise it will fall apart. Each slice is one portion. Now lay a slice on the plate and remove the plastic foil. Then brush a generous amount of the coffee broth on top. The leek is served out of the fridge, but by heating up the broth the whole dish will reach a comfy temperature. This will be a round room temperature. Now pipe a couple dots of the cream on top and place the sweet and sour onions on there. Fill these with the cashew nut cream. Then decorate the dish with some edible flowers or leaves. Here I use white Elysium flowers. They taste a bit like wild garlic and it goes really well with the dish. Okay guys, the dish is done and it looks incredible. I really like the flowers with the small onions and the powder on top. It gives a really nice contrast and the leek with the nori sheets, that's already really beautiful to see, um, let alone the whole dish. Let's just dig in. I especially love the broth. The broth is really delicious and I think this is just a dish that's, yeah, quite, well, I wouldn't say easy because then you guys would destroy me in the comments, but it is quite easy. It's really nice to prep as well. You can prep everything two or three days beforehand and then just on the day you need to slice the, the leek with the nori and then you can just serve it whenever you want. So it's really nice to prep um, and that for me makes it quite uh, a good holiday dish. Let's dig in. Mm. That's super delicious. You can really taste the delicious leek. The nori gives it a lot of unami and then the sweet and sour uh, onion comes in, which is really delicious. The cashew nut cream brings a little bit of creaminess. So overall, everything goes wonderful together. And like I said, super happy with the result. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see after the Christmas special. And as always, bon appetit.